Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shave den and it's time for another shave. Well, this is going to be the second shave of the week and I'm planning on three of them because there are new soaps coming out. This one I'm going to be doing today is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it should be released this Saturday. And it is Rabbit Fighter. I really like the graphics on that. Look at that. Now, Rabbit Fighter... Uh, I think, I, I think Doug got his inspiration from the T-Rex song, Rabbit Fighter, uh, back in the day. And I think they, what did they do? They re-released it in 95, but uh, yeah, T-Rex has been around for a long time. But uh, this one was in the advent calendar uh, that he had released prior to Christmas. And I actually didn't uh, do the uh, advent calendar, so I never smelled this until this week. And... It really, really does smell good. It is vetiver Haiti, cypress, patchouli, a tonka bean, a kiss of ozone, spicy, musky, metallic, herbaceous, woody, earthy, and brash. It's got some good scents in here, and it really does smell nice. And uh, I do like the scent of vetiver, and I can definitely smell that in there. So I'm going to be using this today. And the soap, I've got the CK6 formula. You know what's funny is it smells just as strong as the aftershave. So, uh, and very, very pleasant. So I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to be using my favorite, one of my favorite razors, the Mercure 34G. Really like this one. I saw, I saw this used when I was first starting out doing wet shaving. Somebody had picked one of these up in, uh, uh, I think it was Joe from Queens, picked one of these up from uh, Pasteur's in New York. And I go, man, that looks really good. I got to get one of those. Because I did already have the uh, 34, but the G has held up pretty good. So I'm going to be using that. I've got a Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade. Let's put that in there. Brand new. Forget that once used stuff. Brand new. We'll put that in here. Locks in real good. Lock it in. Perfect. I'm also going to be answering a few questions in this video because you guys uh, leave a lot of comments and, you know, you ask questions and uh, questions are good. Someone said, how come you don't use a lot of horse hair brushes? And guess what? I'm going to use one today. I, I just, I figure, you know, first of all, they're cruelty free. They get the uh, horse hair from the mane and the tail of the uh, horse. So uh, they, they give the horse a haircut, basically. And I do like them, but if I was going to prefer, I would prefer uh, synthetic over this. But some people like these and, you know, way to go. I can just warn you, these smell bad for uh, <laughs> quite a few shaves. It smells like wet animal, but not anymore. So let me put that into the crystal skull. And I was reading some of the comments and one guy said, don't trust these guys. They're getting paid by the... Uh, the manufacturer to do these videos. Well, I want to tell you, I have never been paid to do a video. Never. I'm sure there's some people that have, and I aspire to do it. I just have never been paid by one of the uh, guy, one of the soap or, uh, razor manufacturers, any of them. The way I make the money on the channel is I allow YouTube to put videos on there. And, uh, if I work my ass off and do two videos a week, man, I can make $350 a month. You know, I'm not going to quit my day job for that. I mean, I know there's some influencers out there that have a million followers, and every time they do a video, they're rich. They buy out. Well, that's not me. And that's not most of us. I can guarantee you that. Uh, you know, you do one or two videos a week. but And, and I had one gent. I'm, I'm pondering going back to... I know I'm talking too much. I'm pondering on going back to one of my hobbies that I did 12 years ago. It was cowboy action shooting, where you... And, get to use cowboy, real cowboy guns, lever action, shotgun, revolvers, and uh, you go in, you do a match. You do matches against other people. They time it. I'm planning on doing that. And, and one of the friends that makes videos, cowboy action videos, he has 7,000 videos. Only has 700 subscribers. Shout out to Mad Dog Mark, SASS, Single Action Shooting Society. Uh, he says, hey, uh, you know, I don't get anything from YouTube. I think you have to wait, you guys who are having starting out with your channel, 
think you need a thousand subscribers. And then they start saying, hey, we'll let you, uh, we'll put some advertising and we'll give you like a nickel for every view or something. So you can become very rich and make $300 a month if you work hard. But anyway, I was answering a few questions there. So yeah, I do not get paid, sir, by these people. You know, I enjoy doing the videos and uh, it's a hobby. It's not a job. All right, enough venting, right? Here we go. Let's wet the face. I do have an affiliate link with the PAA. That means if you watch the video and you click on the link and you purchase anything, I get a small percentage. I'll receive a check for like, or a payment of like $9 sometimes, $10 or something. So again, I'm not quitting my day job for this, but uh, just in case you guys are starting your video channel, you said, hey, how do I cash in? Well, it takes a while. But that's that's how it basically goes. All right. So you got a bit of a history lesson there too. Yeah, I haven't done cowboy action shooting in over 12 years. My wife and daughter were doing it. I was using a 45 long cold pistols and rifle, and they were using 38s. And we were at a match once. My daughter fainted. It was so hot, she fainted. And then my wife was, "That's it. We're done." And actually, I uh, I didn't do anything. Didn't do any since. Man, this is thick. So, not used to this brush. But I will be going out this Sunday. And Mad Dog Mark, he films all of these matches. So, you might see me out there. Got to dress the part, man. Yeah, we used to go to... I went to Tombstone, Arizona back, you know, back in the day. We would, you know travel around locally and go do matches and stuff. It was it was a lot of fun. So I'm rusty. Probably going to come in last, but hey, should be fun to try. All right. Mercure 34G. So smells great. Very slick. As you know, if you've used PAA. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, very, and a very strong scent. I was catching up on some videos and ended up looking for cowboy action shooting, see what it's all about, what's happened in the last 12 years. And I was very surprised to see in Europe they have it. And uh, I didn't know you could use those firearms in Europe. Maybe the club has them. You guys who live in Europe, I know not the UK, you know. I got relatives from the UK, they go guns, they're just, you know. But you guys in the UK do have awesome trap and skeet shotgun ranges. They look fantastic. I get a kick going out and watching those matches, seeing how everybody's dressed up, what they've got. It's like being in a John Wayne movie. But it's a serious sport, and uh, safety is number one. Yeah, this soap is fantastic. Very nice. Oh, and some of you did comment. Some of you guys only do two passes. Some guys only do one pass. It all depends on the individual. How your beard is. And... You know, I put some of that cologne on my hand just to smell it earlier. You know, this morning, and man, I could smell it all afternoon. The scent held up. Very long-lasting. Which is nice, because I've got some expensive uh, colognes I put on, and it seems like an hour later you can't smell them anymore. And that shouldn't happen. Oh, and there was another guy who said, hey, when are you going to do a, what is it, Green Irish Tweed Creed? Uh, shave and do it this spring and I said okay I'll get that worked into the lineup 
All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I kept the uh, Allen block handy in case I open up one of those, uh, <laughs> one of those wounds from the last, from Monday's shave. Yeah, so this releases this Saturday, and Hendrix classes, was it Big City Nights? I think that releases this Saturday, too. So I'll be doing my shave with that one on Friday. Three shaves in a week on camera. No issues. No blood. No cuts. All right. And also, when I do these videos, I'm trying these items for the first time. And uh, sometimes they don't go so good. I won't name the... I was, my dad always told me, if you don't have anything good to say about somebody, don't say it. But uh, I was using one blade one time. As I was shaving, I cut myself, cut myself, cut myself. I go, that's it. Mission aborted. And within the video, I took that blade out and I put in one that I know. And <laughs> perfect. And everybody would have thought it was the soap or something, but no, it was that blade, and I will never use that blade again. But uh, so far, all these other blades I've tried, I've had no issues with them. All right. <laughs> it really does smell good. Like I said, I really like the, uh, the art. Putting a lot on there. You guys heard Rabbit Fighter by T-Rex? I haven't heard it, but... Oh, yeah. Always a good burn. Whoo! Always a good burn. Perfect. Oh, and another guy says, hey, man, I notice sometimes you dye your hair. And all I really do, you see, I get gray here and I get gray here. So I do touch that up and, you know, oh, you should never dye your hair. You do what guys make you happy, right? I do what makes me happy. You guys do what makes you happy, right? Shouldn't have anybody telling you what to do. That's for sure. I have my wife for that. You married guys know what I'm talking about. All right. No cuts. Smooth shave. A very, very nice scent. So Rabbit Fighter is supposed to be coming out this weekend. I think there's two other videos out already on it. I know uh, we, got, we got these a little while ago to try and, uh, you know, see what we think. But I like using it for the first time when I do these videos for you guys. So if something goes wrong, you're seeing it. And uh, I'm not going to edit that. But nothing went wrong here, so perfect. All right, good seeing you all again. Thank you very much for your subscriptions. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. And we're halfway through the week. Stay safe. We'll see you in two days. Bye for now.